Hello and welcome to MyCadSite.com and we're here for tutorial 1-7 and this is assignment number 5 showing uh, some new commands like the fillet, chamfer, and array commands and also the rotate. So we're going to start by drawing a rectangle which is one unit across and three units up starting at 0 .75, 0 .75 and then we want to rotate it clockwise 90 degrees uh, starting at a base point of the bottom right hand corner. So we select it, select the base point, and then enter negative 90 degrees for an accurate rotation. Next for the assignment, we're to copy it up two units in the Y axis, and we're going to round all the corners with a radius of 0.375 units, and we do this with the fillet command. So from here, we just start the command and enter R for radius, enter in the desired radius and work our way around. Or we can also do it in one shot since this is a rectangle. So I've undone those, start the command, and this time I've put in a radius of 0.375 again. But now I just choose the P for polyline option and it fillets all the corners in the polyline for me, in this case four. So now I'm going to copy uh, the first rectangle up to the top of the page and this is going to be at uh, 4.5 units straight up using relative coordinates to move it and now I'm going to chamfer it meaning I'm going to have sharp corners instead of the rounded corners that the fillet gives us. So I set in my distances at 0.375 and just like the fillet command I pick two adjoining lines to get the angled corners and I could have also done the same with the polyline option like I did for that so now out of one shape I've got three new objects just by copying and modifying the first one so now we're going to start with the array command and we'll be working off just a small 0.5 by 0.5 rectangle so the first one is going to be a rectangular array so we select that. It's going to have two rows and three columns. And I'll need to select the object I'm arraying. And my row offset is going to be 0.75 by 0.75 as shown in the assignment. So I can preview it, move it down, go, yep, that's exactly what I want, and accept it. Now the last thing I need to do is to draw a circle using my defined starting point of 0.7.5 comma 5.5 and a diameter D enter 1.5 enter and a line from the center going out to the right one unit. Now the next thing I need to do is array it so I can have six lines radiating around the circle. So it's a polar array there's my center point. I select the object that I'm actually arraying and I want six and I want to fill the full circle and I want to rotate the items as they're copied. So I'll preview this. It looks just like the pie I wanted and accept it. One other thing I use the fillet command for a lot is to join two lines that may not meet up and I want a nice clean square corner so I do the fillet, put in a radius of zero, and then select the two lines. And now when I zoom in, I'll see that, yes, I do have a nice sharp corner. And they are joined up and touching. So let me just erase those to finish the assignment. So thanks for watching. This was MyCADSite.com. Thank you.